please consider liking the video and subscribing. Let's begin. Deadpool, one of the most unique and powerful characters in Marvel who is very unpredictable and usually a very funny character to either watch on screen or read in comics, but there are many different versions of Deadpool. Today we'll look at one of the most darkest iterations of the character, Dreadpool, a version of Deadpool that goes off the rails and decides to kill his Marvel Universe. What if a character like that was unleashed in a universe full of other powerful fighters, like the Smash Brothers universe? Could those characters stop Dreadpool for good? or? Would Dreadpool kill every single Nintendo character like nothing? Okay, so like I said, in this fight, I'm going to be talking about comic Deadpool because movie Deadpool would get thumped immediately. The power difference and ability gap is crazy. Dreadpool is the specific version I'm going to talk about. If you know who that is, well, I'll quickly explain it to you. He killed his Marvel Universe because of the realization that he is a fictional character. He believes the only way to free everyone from their meaningless existence is to kill them. Well, he ends up successfully killing all heroes and villains, he then decides to turn to the multiverse. Now for this, let's say that he sets his sights for other universes that have nothing to do with Marvel. Let's say he goes to the Smash Ultimate Universe. That's right, for this video I'm going to be using the Smash Ultimate Universe, including DLC characters. For all these scenarios, final smashes are not allowed, but we'll look at one scenario that does involve ultimates, because it's fun. Also no items, just the abilities of each fighter. For example, a fireball by Mario is allowed because it's from his own powers. As for Deadpool, all of his weapons are allowed. Guns, katanas, grenades, knives. Like my other versus videos, let's first look at Deadpool's powers and abilities before we get into the Smash universe. Deadpool possesses many powers and abilities. Perhaps one of his most famous one is his healing factor. Deadpool is able to regenerate any limb and or revert any damage that he takes. He's able to regenerate in mere minutes. Once again, movie Deadpool is nowhere near this powerful. Other abilities include the fact that he is immune to all sorts of chemicals and poisons. He isn't affected unless it's just an insane amount. Because of his insane healing factor, he is basically immortal. And the fact that he was cursed by life by T-Ray, who was serving Thanos at the time. The reason for that was because Thanos didn't like the relationship Deadpool and Death had. Which, you know why. Of course, he has the classic abilities of all heroes, super strength, agility, but Deadpool is really fast. He's able to dodge a bullet and run at an insane speed of 150 miles per hour, which is fast. Obviously, it isn't light speed, but it's still very impressive. Other skills include being highly skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat, defeating a clone of Captain America, which is impressive given how skilled he is. He's a master at every type of gun, he takes no time to adjust to them. A very unique power, I guess you call it ability maybe? You can say knowledge is that Deadpool knows that he isn't a real character. He knows he's a fictional character. Also, the fact that he is unpredictable is something that should count as the ability. The fact that his enemies or the people around him don't know what he's going to do next is something scary. But he isn't all-powerful and untouchable. He does have some weaknesses. Deadpool has two major weaknesses, the first being phobias. Something that Deadpool is absolutely scared of is cows, which is of course random. Reason for this is, well, I'll say it in Wade's words. It scares the poop out of me, but perhaps his biggest fear is being alone forever. His second weakness is also his greatest ability. Yes, his healing factor is amazing, basically godlike, but if it's used over and over, it will slow down over time and be less effective in combat. We know Deadpool is a strong, unpredictable character who's not someone to mess with, but I mean, come on, him against over 80 beloved Nintendo characters? Well, the fight isn't as unfair when you think about it. Now, to possibly go into every single character in Smash and individually break them down against Deadpool would be much, 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 too much. Now, for this video, I'm gonna be using a tier list. I'm gonna be referring to this one. Now, I'm going to make some adjustments as we go on because there's some characters that I don't agree that should be in certain tiers, but for the video, it's going to be this tier list. As we look into it, the lowest tier on here is weak. In here, nobody has a chance against Deadpool. Like, come on, it's cute characters that would get stomped on easily. Maybe the only one that higher has a chance to survive a little longer than the rest is Jigglypuff and Mr. Game & Watch. Jigglypuff is a Pokemon possessing more abilities, but then again, it's just Jigglypuff. Game & Watch, though, has a lot of items and has an instant KO and a 1 in 9 chance. By the time he even gets it and successfully hits it on Deadpool, Deadpool would already knock him out. Now, I'm not going to go over every single character, just the ones that can make the most impact in this fight. Next, we have the Mortal Tier. Now, here's where we have more to go through. Once again, with Sword Fighters, they would give Deadpool some trouble, but ultimately, I think they would fail to match his speed and durability. Remember, if like someone like Marth were to get stabbed, he would take damage, but not Deadpool, who would recover very quickly. Let's say that the Miis ambushed Wade. They would die so quickly before the announcer would say, GAME! Finally, perhaps the fighter that would be the most challenging is not Little Mac, but Duck Hunt Dog. The reason for this is because he has a little bit of Toon Force on his side, the unlimited bullets, and the ability to spawn shooters for him. Despite this, he is still just a dog who would definitely be put down. Next, we have the powerful tier where most of the characters reside. From here, many characters would possibly give Deadpool a challenge. To name a few, we have Ryu, Mario, Ridley, and even Luigi. First with Ryu, I don't agree with him being here in the first place. I believe he should be a tier above. He's insanely strong, he's very skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat, don't get me wrong, but Deadpool's regeneration and speed plays a huge factor here. He could easily cut the distance and fight Ryu, who wouldn't give in easily, but would not be able to match Wade's speed. Next with Mario and Luigi. Mario's powerful, but once again, he's not a killer. Deadpool, we saw what happened to his universe. He killed everybody. Mario and Luigi have no way to stop bullets coming at them. 
Finally, yes, Ridley is a monster, but come on, Deadpool killed the Hulk. Ridley is nowhere near his power. Personally, I feel that in this tier, Samus would be the strongest opponent against Deadpool because she is a soldier. Along with that, her range of weapons are no joke. Her cannon can shoot lasers and missiles. She'd do a great job at keeping the distance and protecting herself from bullets. But if they were to fight and Samus broke her helmet, let's say they were to fight in space, then she's dead immediately. Deadpool can't die even if he's suffocating. So, moving on to the next tier. Okay, we have now stepped off into the more powerful characters. Next is the kill the god or has god powers. Here's where things are going to get a little messy because everyone on here is no joke. Kirby. Bayonetta, Joker, Meal 2. I'm not sure why Steve is here. I mean, if he's in normal, then he's getting folded real quick. If he's in creative mode, though, then yeah, that's a different conversation. Now, first, I want to mention Kirby, arguably the most powerful Nintendo character, another being who's unkillable and is immensely powerful. In my opinion, I think Kirby would be able to stop Deadpool single handedly. Bayonetta is another force to not mess with. She can be killed, and someone like Deadpool who has killed gods, I think he'd be able to do it. Next with Joker. Now, Joker is someone who's not a joke. Being fast and having the ability to summon arson, which boosts his powers and abilities. But then again, Deadpool, I think, just has heavy artillery. He wouldn't even be faced by it. I think he'd be able to kill Joker before he even summons arson. Now, with Meal 2, who's one of the most powerful Pokemon, this is someone Deadpool would have trouble with for a short time. Deadpool is immune to any sort of psychic ability, and Meal 2 is a psychic heavy Pokemon. Sure, he has other moves and other abilities, but nah, sad as it is to say, I think that Meal 2 would die to Deadpool, but not after blowing off a couple of Deadpool's limbs. Now, this is where I'd make some adjustments to this list. I think Kirby should have been on the same tier, or perhaps even higher, than Hero and Byleth. Now, Hero has a wide range of powers. Also, being able to grow in power is very impressive. Deadpool would certainly have his generation ability used a ton in this one. Finally, this tier's strongest character, Sephiroth. Now, Sephiroth is basically a god. He can do many things, but I believe Deadpool would still come out on top. Sure, Sephiroth can blow up a planet with ease, but even so, Deadpool would not die. He would regenerate and would most likely kill Sephiroth with his own weapon. Or perhaps, as he is unexpected, he'd be able to bring up Sephiroth's mom and just make him really bummed out. Let's take a look at some scenarios. To give more depth about him versus Kirby, I think that it would get to the point where Deadpool wouldn't even know what to do anymore with him, so much so that time would keep passing by, and eventually Deadpool might even break and decide that this fight is pointless, and might even say that Kirby will never die, so much so that he'll decide to take his own life to free himself from this pointless loop. Now, what if the Smash universe was made aware that Deadpool was going to go into their universe? In this scenario, I feel like Deadpool would not be successful. Imagine, an ambush team of all 80 characters. It'd be too much for him to handle, especially if they know his weaknesses and his limits. Once again, the Smash Universe would be saved from his wrath. Now, because he is immortal, they would contain him by having a bunch of cows around him to keep him scared and harmless. During this time, they would find a way to transport him back to, or most likely, kill him to spare the rest of the multiverse from him. Yes, this scenario is a little darker. We don't see Nintendo characters kind of killing people, but you gotta do what you gotta do to save the multiverse. Let's say that Deadpool chilled for a bit and did his research on every single fighter in Smash. Then I think he would definitely would win this one. Knowing their weaknesses and their limits, Deadpool would exploit them all. He would go after the most powerful ones. First, I think he'd somehow find a way to combat Kirby's OP abilities and keep him in a sort of limbo state. After that, each fighter would not be a challenge. Given he has killed powerful heroes and gods in his universe, in this scenario, since Deadpool had a lot of prep time, I think he'd definitely be able to kill every single Smash Ultimate fighter. This matchup is something most would not have thought, but hey, that's what I like to do. Anyway, I want to also hear what you guys have to say. What characters from Smash Ultimate do you think Deadpool would have a hard chance to fight against? I'm curious. I want to know. I also want to say thank you. Thank you so much for everything. The views, the subs, thank you. Also, make sure to please check out my other videos. Like and subscribe and take care of yourself. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.